Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Kitty, and today, no painting, but this is another video to show you guys my 8x10s. Uh, my last video was of my 8x8s, so I'm just going to kind of go up the list of the sizes that I have, just to show you guys what... I've been up to and all of the work that I've done. So with that, let's get started. Um, just read through this and if you guys are interested in any, then just email me or you can leave a comment. Um, if not, then that's fine because I'm just excited to show you what I've done. So it's nice to show off your work. So um, here are the prices. If you are interested, and like I said, if not, then I'm just happy to show you. Okay, you guys, here are my 8x10s. So there are, I believe, 18. Um, so yeah, here we go. Number one. Number one was done at Christina Welch and Alan Mulch's Paint Pour Party. This was, it's, this was, uh... New Year's Eve paint pour. It is very different. I believe these were Alan's color choices, which he can always pull off colors that we don't think that he could, but he does. He makes some beautiful paintings. But this is, this is, and I believe we were doing like two. One was a flip cup and one was a, what was it? Um, a dirty pour. So there's there's two, and I have a few here to show you guys. So this was the first. This was, uh, I don't remember what number it was, but this is number one. It's kind of dark, but yeah, there's number one. And number two was the other one to that little pour came out kind of, it's very colorful. I'll show you some of that. So this was pretty early in my, my flipping and pouring and all that, mixing. Very early, but oh, that little guy right there, I don't know what it is. So yeah, it's number two. And number three, same thing. This one is actually pretty cool. It's, I remember the, the metallic cobalt blue. And that really kind of came out pretty cool. I like this one. And these ones are all varnished. For some reason, I some paintings I had a problem varnishing and some I didn't, so the ones that I did, I fixed them. So this one's very, very, there's so many cells and it actually came out really cool. I like it. Another Alan Welch um, color choice on New Year's Eve pour party. Love it. So that's number three. <clears throat> number four was the other one to that. I think this might have been the, what did I just say? The, um, okay, the flip cup and what else did I say? <laughs> oh, the dirty pour. Gosh. So this one was the same. We can see all that cobalt metallic blue and how different they just how different they come out it looks like it's got like a fiery something coming up it came out pretty cool too all right number four number five is from the same night they we we did a lot there was I think 24 no 24 pours 
that night. Yeah. So here's another one from that night. This was, I believe, another Alan Welch color choice. This one looks like a little, maybe a fish. Just the head coming out of the water. His eye. His little nose. I don't know. I actually literally just saw that on camera. But yeah, this one's very, very busy, very, very colorful. Love it. Cows number five. Number six was, might have been the flip cup. Same color choices. I hope you guys can see, like, there's, like, purple and, but I don't remember purple. But it's gotta be, so it, it is purple. I like that right there, that's pretty cool. Come on, focus. That corner right here is kind of very cool right there. Very shiny. Okay, that was number six. <clears throat> number seven was another same night New Year's Eve paint pour party. This one's very, very full of cells too. Focus. So there's that one. Number seven. <clears throat> Number eight was the same night again. Um, I think this was just the flip cup. With those colors, I mean, it's just amazing how different they come out. Very cool, very different. So I think I had maybe been painting, maybe been pouring for, oh, maybe a month, if even that. So there's that one. Okay, number nine was from that night also. I actually did two of this of these, but the other one is um, it's a bigger size. I can't. Remember. It's in there somewhere, but this one is very cool. It's very pretty. It's like reds and oranges, and I just remember red and orange. Maybe there's some cup. No, I don't think there's copper in there, but maybe Van Dyke brown and black or something, but this is it's pretty cool. It's very pretty. It's, um, I wish I could remember. I'm trying to show you. I'm trying to show you guys, and I'm sitting here staring at it. <laughs> this one's actually really pretty. Trying to get, trying to get a good shot of them. That's a good one. So there you go. That's number nine. All right, number ten. I kind of went on my own. <laughs> I was gonna try something. I don't remember what colors were in this. I think 
Um, I think I tried vermilion in here. I think that's what this darker one is. And um, some, I don't know, odd colors. But it, it came out very... It's very, I don't, I, I don't know the word, but it's very neat. It's very cool. The way it came out and just kind of formed all those, those cells and There's number 10. Okay, number 11 was my... What did I do with this? I think this was my very first attempt at a Dutch pour. It's been quite a while. And, um... This was actually paints that I had that had silicone in them. And, of course, I... My first one, I tried purples and blues because, you know, that's what I do. But I think it came out really cool. It's just compared to what I've learned and, and the way I do them now. But this one is still very, very cool. I love this one, too. I'll try to get you to see the purples and the blues. Because we all love purples and blues. I'm pretty sure. I think. So this is my first attempt at a Dutch pour. And this was with my paints that I had mixed um, with, sil with silicone. With the treadmill silicone. But I love it. It's very pretty. Alright, number 11. Okay, number 12, now I saw Sherry from Sherry's Life do this beautiful painting and honestly right now that I'm looking at it, I can't remember the colors, I would have to go back and look, but, so I did a little one, I tried, I didn't have all the colors that she had, but she just inspired me to try those colors and well, not exactly, but I didn't have them all, but I, I improvised. And I think I did pretty good. So Sherry, thank you very much. I absolutely love these colors and this little guy. It's really pretty. So pretty. Make sure you guys are in focus there. I mean... Very, very pretty. I love, love those colors. Thank you, Sherry. <laughs> love it. All right. Twelve. All right, number 13. If you guys watch my videos and you remember the pink series, pink and black, here is one of those all done. Not sure which number this was. But this is one of them. And it is just made with, um, I, I'm pretty sure it was, um, of course, magenta. And I believe quinacridone. I, I think that I used that in there because I remember every time I said it, I had a hard time saying it. <laughs> but this is one of them. I kind of blew it out. This is that one from the pink and black series. I'm trying to get, I mean, it looks really dark, but it's very cool. So there you go. That was number 13. Okay, this one's more recent, you guys. Number 14 is part of. The red and black series. This was the single ring, ring, um, yeah, 
single tree ring pour that I did. Put it this way. They all came out pretty good. I did do, um, I think I did six and then two of the 16 by 20s because that's the size that um, he was looking for. And um, yeah, he chose four out of the eight pieces. So that was pretty awesome. But here's the single tree ring from the black and red series, number 14. Number 15 is from that same series, and this was the multiple tree ring pour. This is actually the style that he chose, that he liked. So I did it on 16 by 16 by 20s. This one came out pretty awesome. I like this one. He had a hard time choosing. Tried to get him to get this one too because the two 16 by 20s were were um, all the multiple tree rings. And I said, "Well, what about the little guy?" But he he really loved them all. But here it is, you guys. I like this one. Came out pretty awesome. I do say so. There you go. Number 15. We're almost done, guys. Hang in there. Sorry. <laughs> Paintings are falling over. Alright. Number 16. I think I did a video on. I honestly can't remember. But this was actually one that I had down as a varnish fail because the varnish just it just wasn't right and so this was one of those so this one is resin very well protected and it it sparkles and it's it's got metallics in there I can't it looks like maybe a I don't know you guys but it's really pretty it is, and it is resined. Like I see. It's very, very, I can't, I wish I can remember. Gosh, I should have wrote all this down. So shiny. See my camera? Yeah, it's pretty. I'm trying, I'm trying to like get a really good shot, but. It does, there is some shimmer up in here, all in here, which is very cool. Yeah, it does shimmer. All right, you guys, there's that one, number 16. Number 17 was the same thing. It was one of my varnish fails that I called it. And it was an earlier day too. Um, still learning <laughs> how, how important it is to make sure that your your table or whatever is very very level um i had a hard time with that in the beginning too but this was i think this was my first attempt at a boiler maker but it was with one of those little cups that you can buy that has the little attached little cup inside so that's what I used here. So this is resin. It is all fixed. There's no more weird varnish streaks. Come on. Of course it's purples. I had to do my first one in purples. But it's really pretty. Can't tell if that's focused or not. Maybe it's the yeah. That's how's my first attempt. All right, one more, and it's one of my favorites. Oh my gosh, it is a resin pour. It's actually my very first 
resin pour. It wasn't paint pour first and then resin. This is all resin. I mixed paint colors in with the resin and I poured it. There is a video on this one because I did a 6x6 tile too with leftover. But this, here it is. If you guys watch the video, this is, this is it. It's all done. All pretty and shiny. Purples and blues. Uh, magenta, cobalt blue. The metallic cobalt blue. Um, I think it was the white, metallic white. And a little bit of black with that magenta and stuff. And the dioxazine purple. It is so pretty. I know cameras don't like metallics, but I hope you guys can see all those pretty colors. It's so pretty. I love that one. Whew. Pretty. So that's, that's it. That's my first resin pour on my canvas. That's it, you guys. That is all for this little video of the 8x10s. Um, let me know what you think, how I did, or I try not to make these too long, but sometimes, you know, you really can't help it. But, um, so that's it. That is all of my 8x10s as I'm looking around. Yes, that is all my 8x10s. And um, let me know what you guys think. Um, share my videos. Click that like, but light, like button if you do like it. And um, share my videos. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not. And apparently I cannot talk. I just got off work and I'm tired. But I wanted to do this video for you guys. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and there will be more because I think next are 9 by 12 and 10 by 10s. So thank you guys and I will see you on the next one. Bye.